Occitan language, Wikipedia article audio. Occitan Occitan, French, also known as Lenga DA Superscript 2C, French, Longue DOC by its native speakers, is a Romance language. It is spoken in southern France, Italy's Occitan Valleys, Monaco and Spain's Val d'Aran, collectively. These regions are sometimes referred to as Occitania. Occitan is also spoken in the linguistic enclave of Guardia Piemontese. However, there is controversy about the unity of the language, as some think that Occitan is a macro language. Others include Catalan in this family, as the distance between this language and some Occitan dialects is similar to the distance among different Occitan dialects. In fact, Catalan was considered an Occitan dialect until the end of the 19th century. Name History of the modern term Other names for Occitan History Origins Occitan in the Iberian Peninsula Geographic distribution Usage in France Usage outside France Traditionally Occitan-speaking areas Number of speakers Dialects Codification Standardization Writing system Debates concerning linguistic classification and orthography Linguistic characterization Features of Occitan Features of Occitan as a whole Features of some Occitan dialects Comparison with other Romance languages and English Lexicon Differences between Occitan and Catalan Occitan a Romance linguistic group. Occitan quotes. Today, Occitan is an official language in Catalonia, where a sub dialect of Gascon known as Arrains is spoken in the Val d'Aran. Occitan's closest relative is Catalan. Since September 2010, the Parliament of Catalonia has considered Arrains Occitan to be the officially preferred language for use in the Val d'Aran. Notes Bibliography Across history, the terms Limousin, Languedocian, Gascon, and later Provenal have been used as synonyms for the whole of Occitan. Nowadays, Provenal is understood mainly as the Occitan dialect spoken in Provence, in southeast France. Unlike other Romance languages such as French or Spanish, there is no single written standard language called Occitan, and Occitan has no official status in France, home to most of Occitania. Instead, there are competing norms for writing Occitan some of which attempt to be pan-dialectal, whereas others are based on particular dialects. These efforts are hindered by the rapidly declining use of Occitan as a spoken language in much of southern France, as well as by the significant differences in phonology and vocabulary between different Occitan dialects. In particular, the northern and easternmost dialects have more morphological and phonetic features in common with the Gallo-Italic and OAL languages, whereas the southernmost dialects have more features in common with the Ibero-Romance languages, and Gascon has a number of unusual features not seen in other dialects. There are also significant lexical differences, where some dialects have words cognate with French, and others have Catalan and Spanish cognates us slash my more, tothorn slash semper always, etc. Nonetheless, there is a significant amount of mutual intelligibility. The long-term survival of Occitan is in grave doubt. According to the UNESCO Red Book of Endangered Languages, 
four of the six major dialects of Occitan are considered severely endangered, whereas the remaining two are considered definitely endangered. The name Occitan comes from Lenga da superscript 2c, a superscript 2c being the Occitan word for yes. While the term would have been in use orally for some time after the decline of Latin, as far as historical records show, the Italian medieval poet Dante was the first to have recorded the term lingua doc in writing. In his De Vulgari Eloquentia, he wrote in Latin, Nam alii oc, alii si, alii vero de cunt oil, thereby highlighting three major Romance literary languages that were well known in Italy, based on each language's word for yes, the A superscript 2C language, the OAL language, and the SA language. This was not, of course, the only defining characteristic of each group. The word A superscript 2C came from vulgar Latin hoc, while OAL originated from Latin hoc illudit. Old Catalan, and now the Catalan of northern Catalonia also have hoc. Other Romance languages derive their word for yes from the Latin sic, thus, etc., such as Spanish essay, Eastern Lombard essay copyright, Sicilian and Italian essay, or Portuguese sim. In modern Catalan, as in modern Spanish, essay is usually used as a response, although the language retains the word oi, akin to a superscript 2c which is sometimes used at the end of yes a euro no questions, and also in higher register as a positive response. French uses si to answer yes in response to questions that are asked in the negative sense, e.g., vous n'avez pas de frères. Si, j'nai September, I have seven. The name Occitan was attested around 1300 as Occitanus, a crossing of O.C. and Aquitanus. For many centuries, the Occitan dialects were referred to as Limousin or Provena Al, the names of two regions lying within modern Occitania. After Fra Copyright de Copyright Rick Mistral S. Fa Copyright Libridge movement in the 19th century, Provena Al achieved the greatest literary recognition and so became the most popular term for Occitan. According to Joseph Anglade, a philologist and specialist of medieval literature who helped impose the then archaic term Occitan as the sole correct name, the word Lemison was first used to designate the language at the beginning of the 13th century by Catalan troubadour Raymond Vital de Basala degree in his Raza superscript 3s de Trabar. La parladura Francesca Val Mays et plus avinens a far romans e pastorellas, mas cella de Lemison Val Mays per far ver et cansons et servanta copyright s. Et per totas las terras de nostra language son de major autoritat li canta de la lenga limosina que de negun otra parla dura, per chuiau vos en parlare prime roman. The French language is worthier and better suited for romances and postaurels, but the language from Limousin is of greater value for writing poems and canaons and serventa copyright s and across the whole of the lands where our tongue is spoken, the literature in the Limousin language has more authority than any other dialect, wherefore I shall use this name in priority. As for the word Provena Al, it should not be taken as strictly meaning the language of Provence, but of Occitania as a whole, for in the 11th, the 12th, and sometimes also the 13th centuries, one would understand under the name of Provence the whole territory of the old Provincia Romana and even Aquitaine. The term first came into fashion in Italy. Currently, linguists use the terms Provena Al and Limousin strictly to refer to specific varieties within Occitania, keeping the name Occitan for the language as a whole. Many non-specialists, however, 
continue to refer to the language as Pravena Al, causing some confusion. One of the oldest written fragments of the language ever found dates back to the year 960, in an official text that was mixed with Latin. De istahora in antia non dispra euro erman gos filius ld arda frotirio episcopo filio gerberga eni raimundo filio bernardo viscomite de castello de cornone. Noa el li tolra euro noa el li devadera euro ni no el en dispra euro, nec societatum non ora euro, si per castellum recuperare non o fa. Etsi recuperare potuer writ in pot state frotirio et Raimundo lo tornera euro, per ipsos horas qua frotarius et Raimundus ln comonra euro. Carolingian litanies, both written and sung in Latin, were answered to in Old Occitan by the audience. Other famous pieces include the Boesis a 258-line-long poem written entirely in the Limousin dialect of Occitan between the year 1000 and 1030 and inspired by Boethius S. The Consolation of Philosophy, the Waldensian La Nobla Lake Sun, La Cana A Superscript 3 de Santa Fe, the Romance of Flamenca, the Song of the Albigensian Crusade, Doral E. Beta Superscript 3, Loss, Chuai non sun sparver, astur, and tomata femina. Occitan was the vehicle for the influential poetry of the medieval troubadours and troberices. At that time, the language was understood and celebrated throughout most of educated Europe. It was the maternal language of the English Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine and Kings Richard I of England and John, King of England. With the gradual imposition of French royal power over its territory, Occitan declined in status from the 14th century on. By the ordinance of villers cotterets it was decreed that the long doal should be used for all French administration. Occitan's greatest decline was during the French Revolution, during which diversity of language was considered a threat. The literary renaissance of the late 19th century was attenuated by World War I, when Occitan speakers spent extended periods of time alongside French-speaking comrades. Because the geographical territory in which Occitan is spoken is surrounded by regions in which other Romance languages are used, external influences could have influenced its origin and development. Many factors favored its development as a language of its own. Catalan in Spain's northern and central Mediterranean coastal regions and the Balearic Islands is closely related to Occitan, sharing many linguistic features and a common origin. The language was one of the first to gain prestige as a medium for literature among Romance languages in the Middle Ages. Indeed, in the 12th and 13th centuries, Catalan troubadours such as Garra de Cabrera, Guillem de Burgadon, Guillem de Cabestani, Huguet de Mataplana, Raymond Vital de Basala de Gris, Cervera de Girona, Formit de Perpinhan, and Geoffrey de Foisa wrote in Occitan. At the end of the 11th century, the Franks, as they were called at the time, started to penetrate the Iberian Peninsula through the ways of St. James via Somport and Roncesvalles, settling on various spots of the kingdoms of Navarre and Aragon enticed by the privileges granted them by the Navarresa kings. They established themselves in ethnic boroughs where Occitan was used for everyday life, e.g. Pamplona, Sanga 1 4th ESA, Estela Lizera, etc. The language in turn became the status language chosen by the Navarresa kings, nobility, and upper classes for official and trade purposes in the period stretching from the early 13th century to late 14th century. These boroughs in Navarre may have been close-knit communities with little mingling, in a context where the natural milieu was predominantly Basque-speaking. 
The variant chosen for written administrative records was a Koina copyright based on the Languedocian dialect from Toulouse with fairly archaic linguistic features. Evidence of a written account in Occitan from Pamplona revolving around the burning of Burro San Nicolas from 1258 survives today, while the history of the War of Navarre by Gilamanilier albeit written in Pamplona shows a linguistic variant from Toulouse. Things turned out slightly otherwise in Aragon, where the sociolinguistic situation was different, with a clearer Basque Romance bilingual situation, but a receding Basque language. While the language was chosen as a medium of prestige in records and official statements along with Latin in the early 13th century, Occitan faced competition from the rising local Romance vernacular, the Navarro Aragonese both orally and in writing, especially after Aragon's territorial conquests south to Zaragoza, Huesca, and Tudela between 1118 and 1134. It resulted that a second Occitan immigration of this period was assimilated by the similar Navarro-Aragonese language, which at the same time was fostered and chosen by the kings of Aragon. The language fell into decay in the 14th century across the whole southern Pyrenean area and became largely absorbed into Navarro-Aragonese first and Castilian later in the 15th century, after their exclusive boroughs broke up. Gascon-speaking communities were called in for trading purposes by Navarresa kings in the early 12th century to the coastal fringe extending from San Sebastian to the Bidaso River where they settled down. The language variant used was different from the ones used in Navarre, i.e. a BA copyright Arnis dialect of Gascon, with Gascon being in use far longer than in Navarre and Aragon until the 19th century, thanks mainly to the close ties held by Donostia and Paseo with Bayon. Though it was still an everyday language for most of the rural population of southern France well into the 20th century, it is now spoken by about 100,000 people in France according to 2012 estimates. According to the 1999 census, there were 610,000 native speakers and perhaps another million persons with some exposure to the language. Following the pattern of language shift, most of this remainder is to be found among the eldest populations. Occitan activists have attempted, in particular with the advent of Occitan language preschools, to reintroduce the language to the young. Nonetheless, the number of proficient speakers of Occitan is dropping precipitously. A tourist in the cities in southern France is unlikely to hear a single Occitan word spoken on the street, and is likely to only find the occasional vestige, such as street signs, to remind them of the traditional language of the area. Mountains and seas, the range of Occitan is bounded naturally by the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Ocean, the Massif Central, the Pyrenees, and the Alps buffer zones, arid land, marshes, and areas otherwise impractical for farming and resistant of colonization provide further separation, constant populations, some Occitan-speaking peoples are descended from people living in the region since prehistory, little Celtic influence, ancient and long-term Roman influence, Julius Caesar once said that. The people of Aquitaine could teach the Romans themselves to speak Latin more correctly. According to Ma One Fourthler, France's linguistic separation began with Roman influence, a separate lexicon, although Occitan is midway between the Gallo Romance and Iberian Romance languages, it has around 550 words inherited from Latin that do not exist in the Longs Doal or in Franco Provenal. Little Germanization, the Frankish lexicon and its phonetic influence often end above the OC slash OAL line. Gascon, includes the BA copyright Arnis and Arrains, 
Languedocian, Limousin, Auvergnat, Provenal, including the Niard subdialect, Shuadit language. Southwestern, more conservative, Northeastern, more innovative. Gascon, standing alone, Southern Occitan, Northern Occitan. Arverno-Mediterranean, same as Wheeler's Northeastern group, i.e. Limousin, Auvergnat, Provenal and Vivero Alpine, Central Occitan, Languedocian, excepting the Southern Languedocian subdialect, Aquitano-Pyrenean, Southern Languedocian, Gascon, and Catalan. Arverno-Mediterranean, same as in Beck and Wheeler, divided further, Nia Ard Alpine, Vivero Alpine along with the Nia Ard subdialect of Provena Al, Transoxitan, the remainder of Provena Al along with Limousin and Auvergnat. The classical norm has the advantage of maintaining a link with earlier stages of the language, and reflects the fact that Occitan is not a variety of French. It is used in all Occitan dialects. It also allows speakers of one dialect of Occitan to write intelligibly for speakers of other dialects. The Occitan classical orthography and the Catalan orthography are quite similar, they show the very close ties of both languages. The digraphs LH and NH, used in the classical orthography, were adopted by the orthography of Portuguese, presumably by Gerald of Braga a monk from Moisac, who became Bishop of Braga in Portugal in 1047, playing a major role in modernizing written Portuguese using classical Occitan norms. The Mistralien norm has the advantage of being similar to that of French, in which most Occitan speakers are literate. Now, it is used mostly in the Provena al slash Niard dialect, besides the classical norm. It has also been used by a number of eminent writers, particularly in Provena Al. However, it is somewhat impractical, because it is based mainly on the Provena Al dialect and also uses many digraphs for simple sounds, the most notable one being OU for the sound, as it is in French, written as O under the classical orthography. The classical orthography is phonemic and diasystemic, and thus more panoxidin. It can be used for all oxidin dialects and regions, including Provena Al. Its supporters think that Provena Al is a part of oxidin. The Mistralian orthography of Provena Al is more or less phonemic but not diasystemic and is closer to the French spelling and therefore more specific to Provena Al. Its users are divided between the ones that think that Provena Al is a part of Occitan and the ones that think that Provena Al is a separate language. Latin A changed to slash Y slash, as in French, Vulgar Latin slash O slash changed to slash U slash, first in unstressed syllables, as in Catalan, then in stressed syllables. Stressed Latin A was preserved. Intervocalic, T, was lenited to slash D slash rather than lost. Original slash A slash preserved, final slash A slash becomes slash E slash, slash E slash may appear in word final unstressed position, in a process of vowel harmony dot, lomid slash E slash and slash E slash diphthongized before velars. Slash E slash generally becomes slash J E slash, slash E slash originally became slash we slash or slash we slash, but has since usually undergone further fronting etc. Diphthongization also occurred before palatals, as in French and Catalan, various assimilations in consonant clusters. Palatalization of CA, GA to slash TA. Da a slash dot, vocalization of syllable final slash l slash to slash w slash, loss of final consonants, 
vocalization of syllable final nasals to nasal vowels, uvularization of some or all iray copyright sounds. Oxidans, as a result of more than 200 years of conditioned suppression and humiliation, seldom speak their own language in the presence of foreigners, whether they are from abroad or from outside Occitania. Occitan is still spoken by many elderly people in rural areas, but they generally switch to French when dealing with outsiders. Occitan's decline is somewhat less pronounced in BA copyright Arne because of the province's history, though even there the language is little spoken outside the homes of the rural elderly. The village of Artix is notable for having elected to post street signs in the local language. The area where Occitan was historically dominant has approximately 16 million inhabitants. Recent research has shown it may be spoken as a first language by approximately 789,000 people in France, Italy, Spain, and Monaco. In Monaco, Occitan coexists with Mona copyright Gaisk Ligurian, which is the other native language. Some researchers state that up to 7 million people in France understand the language, whereas 12 to 14 million fully spoke it in 1921. In 1860, Occitan speakers represented more than 39% of the whole French population, they were still 26% to 36% in the 1920s and fewer than 7% in 1993. Occitan is fundamentally defined by its dialects, rather than being a unitary language. That point is very conflictual in southern France, as many people do not recognize Occitan as a real language and think that the next defined dialects are languages. Like other languages that fundamentally exist at a spoken, rather than written, level, every settlement technically has its own dialect with the whole of Occitania forming a classic dialect continuum that changes gradually along any path from one side to the other. Nonetheless, specialists commonly divide Occitan into six main dialects. Gascon is the most divergent, and descriptions of the main features of Occitan often consider Gascon separately. Max Wheeler notes that probably only its copresence within the French cultural sphere has kept from being regarded as a separate language, and compares it to franco al, which is considered a separate language from Occitan but is probably not more divergent from Occitan overall than Gascon is. There is no general agreement about larger groupings of these dialects. Max Wheeler divides the dialects into two groups. Pierre Beck divides the dialects into three groups. Beck also notes that some linguists prefer a superdialectal classification that groups Occitan with Catalan as a part of a wider Occitano-Romanic group. One such classification posits three groups. According to this view, Catalan is an Osba language that became independent from Occitan during the 13th century, but originates from the Aquitano-Pyrenean group. Domerc Sumien proposes a slightly different superdialectal grouping. All these regional varieties of the Occitan language are written and valid. Standard Occitan also called Occitan Larg is a synthesis that respects and admits soft regional adaptations. So Occitan can be considered as a pluricentric language. The standardization process began with the publication of Grammatica Occitana Sigon Los Parlors Lengedotians, Grammar of the Languedocian Dialect, by Louis Alibert followed by the Dictionnaire Occitan Frana A. Ceylon Les Parlors Languedociennes by the same author, completed during the 1970s with the works of Pierre Beck, Roba R.T. Lafont, and others. But it has not been achieved yet. It is mostly supported by users of the classical norm.
Due to the strong situation of diglossia, some users still reject the standardization process and do not conceive Occitan as a language that could work just as other standardized languages. There are two main linguistic norms currently used for Occitan, one, which is based on that of medieval Occitan, and one, which is based on modern French orthography. Sometimes, there is conflict between users of each system. There are also two other norms but they have a lesser audience. The ESCA superscript 2 la DAU PA superscript 2 norm is a simplified version of the Mistral EN norm and is used only in the Occitan valleys, besides the classical norm. The Bonadian norm was created by Pierre Bonadet and is used only in the Auvergnat dialect, besides the classical norm. Latin MB, ND become slash M, N slash dot, Betacism slash b slash n slash v slash merge intervocalic voiced stops slash b d e slash become voiced fricatives loss of word final single slash n slash latin initial slash f slash changed into slash h slash this also happened in medieval spanish although the slash h slash was eventually lost or reverted to slash f slash the Gascon I hey copyright has retained its aspiration, loss of slash n slash between vowels. This also happened in Portuguese and Galician, change of lol to i ray copyright slash e three fourth slash, or i th copyright word finally. This is a unique characteristic of Gascon and of certain Aragonese dialects. Merging of syllable final nasals to slash a slash. This appears to represent a transitional stage before nasalization, and occurs especially in the southerly dialects other than Gascon, former intervocalic slash a degree slash becomes slash z slash. This appears to have happened in primitive Catalan as well, but Catalan later deleted this sound or converted it to slash w slash palatalization of slash jt slash to slash t slash in most dialects or slash t slash, latch vs la milk, lucha vs luda fight, weakening of slash l slash to slash r slash in the vivero alpine dialect. Phonology, main articles, Occitan phonology and Catalan phonology. Standard Catalan is unique in that Latin short E developed into a close vowel slash E slash and Latin long E developed into an open vowel slash E slash, that is precisely the reverse of the development that took place in Western Catalan dialects and the rest of the Romance languages, including Occitan. Thus standard Catalan A copyrights or corresponds to Occitan A sir slash A stra to B. Catalan Cara corresponds to Occitan Caria Are Street, but it is also Carriera, in Provena Al, the distinctly Occitan development of word final A, pronounced in standard Occitan, did not occur in general Catalan. However, some Occitan varieties also lack that feature, and some Catalan varieties have the pronunciation, mostly by vowel harmony when in Catalan word stress falls in the antepenultimate syllable, in Occitan the stress is moved to the penultimate syllable, for example, Occitan pagina vs. Catalan pagina, page. However, some varieties of Occitan keep the stress on the antepenultimate syllable, and some varieties of Catalan put the stress on the penultimate syllable. Diphthongization has evolved in different ways, Occitan pair vs. Catalan pair father, Occitan carrier array vs. Catalan carrera, some Occitan dialects lack the voiceless post-alveolar fricative phoneme slash slash, but southwestern Occitan has it, general Occitan quesa vs. Catalan quesa and southwestern Occitan quesa. Keisha O. Box. Nevertheless, 
some Valenkian dialects like Northern Valenkian lack that phoneme too and generally substitute slash J superscript 2 slash, cakesa dot. Occitan has developed the close front rounded vowel slash y slash as a phoneme, often corresponding to Catalan slash u slash, Occitan musica vs. Catalan mata grisica, the distribution of palatal consonants slash slash and slash e superscript 2 slash differs in Catalan and part of Occitan, while Catalan permits them in word final position. In central Occitan they are neutralized to NVS. Catalan Phil, Sun. Non-central varieties of Occitan, however, might have a palatal realization. However, Algarese Catalan neutralizes palatal consonants in word final position as well, also, many words that start with slash L slash in Occitan start with slash slash in Catalan. Occitan Libra vs. Catalan Libra, book. That is perhaps one of the most distinctive characteristics of Catalan amongst the Romance languages, shared only with Asturian, Leones, and Mirandis. However, some transitional varieties of Occitan, near the Catalan area, also have initial slash slash dot. While slash L slash is always clear in Occitan, in Catalan it tends to be velarized. In coda position, slash L slash has tended to be vocalized to in Occitan, while remained dark in Catalan, standard Eastern Catalan has a neutral vowel whenever a ORE occur in unstressed position, to happen, but passa, it happens and also whenever O or U occur in unstressed position, e.g. abrir, to open, but abra, you open. However, that does not apply to Western Catalan dialects, whose vowel system usually retains the A slash E distinction in unstressed position, or to Northern Catalan dialects, whose vowel system does not retain the O slash U distinction in stressed position, much like Occitan. Note that that Catalan version was translated from the Spanish, while the Occitan versions were translated from the French. The second part of the Catalan version may also be rendered as S.A. superscript 3 and dotades de ra superscript 3 i de conciencia, i els cal actuar entre siamb un esperit de fraternitat showing the similarities between Occitan and Catalan. The majority of scholars think that Occitan constitutes a single language. Some authors, constituting a minority, reject this opinion and even the name Occitan, thinking that there is a family of distinct Lengas da superscript 2c rather than dialects of a single language. Many Occitan linguists and writers, particularly those involved with the Pan-Occitan movement centered on the Institut d'Estudies Occitans, disagree with the view that Occitan is a family of languages and think that Limousin, Auvergnat, Languedocian, Gascon, Provena Al and Vivero Alpine are dialects of a single language. Although there are indeed noticeable differences between these varieties, there is a very high degree of mutual intelligibility between them, they also share a common literary history, and in academic and literary circles, have been identified as a collective linguistic entity a euro the lenga da superscript 2 c a euro for centuries. Some Provena al authors continue to support the view that Provena al is a separate language. Nevertheless, the vast majority of Provena al authors and associations think that Provena al is a part of Occitan. This debate about the status of Provena al should not be confused with the debate concerning the spelling of Provena al. For example, the classical system writes Polonha, whereas the Mistrali and spelling system has Polono, for, Poland. The question of Gascon is similar. 
Gaskin presents a number of significant differences from the rest of the language, but, despite these differences, Gaskin and other Occitan dialects have very important common lexical and grammatical features, so authors such as Pierre Beck argue that they could never be considered as different as, for example, Spanish and Italian. In addition, Gaskin's being included in Occitan despite its particular differences can be justified because there is a common elaboration process between Gaskin and the rest of Occitan. The vast majority of the Gaskin cultural movement considers itself as a part of the Occitan cultural movement. And the official status of Val d'Aran, adopted in 1990, says that Arrains is a part of Gaskin and Occitan. A Grammar of Arraigns by Ater Carrera, published in 2007 in Lida, presents the same view. The exclusion of Catalan from the Occitan sphere, even though Catalan is closely related, is justified because there has been a consciousness of its being different from Occitan since the later Middle Ages and because the elaboration processes of Catalan and Occitan have been quite distinct since the 20th century. Nevertheless, other scholars point out that the process that led to the affirmation of Catalan as a distinct language from Occitan started during the period when the pressure to include Catalan-speaking areas in a mainstream Spanish culture was at its greatest. The answer to the question of whether Gascon or Catalan should be considered dialects of Occitan or separate languages has long been a matter of opinion or convention, rather than based on scientific ground. However, two recent studies support Gaskins being considered a distinct language. For the very first time, a quantifiable, statistics-based approach was applied by Stefan Koppelberg in attempt to solve this issue. Based on the results he obtained, he concludes that Catalan, Occitan, and Gaskin should all be considered three distinct languages. More recently, Y Group and JP. Chambon demonstrated that the formation of Proto Gascon was already complete at the eve of the 7th century, whereas Proto Occitan was not yet formed at that time. These results induced linguists to do away with the conventional classification of Gascon, favoring the distinct language alternative. Both studies supported the early intuition of late Kurt Baldinger a specialist of both medieval Occitan and medieval Gascon, who recommended that Occitan and Gascon be classified as separate languages. However, this statement hurts the Occitanist doctrine, which states as one of its fundamental dogmas, that Gascon is a dialect of Occitan, so linguists of the Occitanist movement tend not to take these studies into account. Jules Runjat has sought to characterize Occitan by 19 principal criteria, as generalized as possible. Of those, 11 are phonetic, 5 morphologic, 1 syntactic, and 2 lexical. Close rounded vowels are rare or absent in Occitan. This characteristic often carries through to an Occitan speaker's French, leading to a distinctive ma copyright ridional accent. Unlike French, it is a pro-drop language, allowing the omission of the subject. Among these 19 discriminating criteria, 7 are different from Spanish, 8 from Italian, 12 from Franco-Provenal, and 16 from French. Most features of Occitan are shared with either French or Catalan, or both. Examples of Panoxidan features shared with French, but not Catalan. Examples of Panoxidan features shared with Catalan, but not French. Examples of Panoxidan features not shared with Catalan or French. Examples of dialect specific features of the northerly dialects shared with French, but not Catalan. Examples of dialect-specific features of the southerly dialects shared with Catalan, but
but not French. Examples of Gascon specific features not shared with French or Catalan. Examples of other dialect specific features not shared with French or Catalan. A comparison of terms and word counts between languages is not easy, as it is impossible to count the number of words in a language. Some have claimed around 450,000 words exist in the Occitan language, a number comparable to English. The Merriam-Webster website estimates that the number is somewhere between 250,000 and 1 million words. The magazine GA Copyright O claims that American English literature can be more easily translated into Occitan than French, excluding modern technological terms that both languages have integrated. A comparison of the lexical content can find more subtle differences between the languages. For example, Occitan has 128 synonyms related to cultivated land. 62 for wetlands, and 75 for sunshine. The language went through an eclipse during the Industrial Revolution, as the vocabulary of the countryside became less important. At the same time, it was disparaged as a patois. Nevertheless, Occitan has also incorporated new words into its lexicon to describe the modern world. The Occitan word for web is OAB, for example. One interesting and useful feature of the Occitan language is its virtually infinite ability to create new words through a number of interchangeable and embeddable suffixes, giving the original terms a whole array of semantic nuances. The separation of Catalan from Occitan is seen by some as largely politically motivated. However, the variety that has become standard Catalan differs from the one that has become standard Occitan in a number of ways. Here are just a few examples. Despite these differences, Occitan and Catalan remain more or less mutually comprehensible, especially when written a euro more so than either is with Spanish or French, for example although this is mainly a consequence of using the classical norm of the Occitan, which is precisely focused in showing the similarities between the Occitan dialects with Catalan. Occitan and Catalan form a common diocese stem, which is called Occitano-Romance, according to the linguist Pierre Beck. Speakers of both languages share early historical and cultural heritage. The combined Occitano Romance area is 259,000 km2 and represents 23 million speakers. However, the regions are not equal in terms of language speakers. According to Beck 1969, in France, no more than a quarter of the population in counted regions could speak Occitan well, though around half understood it it is thought that the number of Occitan users has decreased dramatically since then. By contrast, in the Catalonia administered by the government of Catalonia, nearly three-quarters of the population speak Catalan and 95% understand it. One of the most notable passages of Occitan in Western literature occurs in the 26th canto of Dante's Purgatorio in which the troubadour Arnaud Daniel responds to the narrator. The above strophe translates to Another notable Occitan quotation, this time from Arnaud Daniel's own 10th canto. Modern Occitan Translation French writer Victor Hugo's classic La Misa copyright Rabbles also contains some Occitan. In Part 1, First Book, Chapter 4, Les Aouvres Assemblables Auxiliary Paroles, one can read about Monseigneur Bienvenue. Translation The Spanish playwright Lope de Ruda included a Gascon servant for comical effect in one of his short pieces. La Jean Rosa Paliza
John Barnes' S. Thousand Cultures Science Fiction Series, features Occitan. So does the 2005 best-selling novel Labyrinth by English author Kate Moss. It is set in Carcassonne, where she owns a house and spends half of the year. The French composer Joseph Cantilab created five sets of folk songs entitled Songs of the Auvergne, in which the lyrics are in the Auvergne dialect of Occitan. The orchestration strives to conjure vivid pastoral scenes of yesteryear. Michael Crichton features Occitan in his timeline novel.